So this is for you. If you are having multiple chats with multiple people about obviously the press release that happened today in our state, or if you're probably just living in Australia and things are feeling very unsure, very unsure to do with your future. I promise, I promise you can, you can trust that it will be okay because it will be okay. I promise that we will actually all be okay. Don't ask me how I know. I just, I feel it within my bones and I want you to trust yourself that you'll be okay as well. But what I can say is that if you're in a business and you've been asked to mandate certain things and you don't necessarily want to mandate certain things and you are maybe running around having appointments with various people to see what you need to do slash don't have to do, um, what I can say is that by the time you probably even have those appointments with those people, if it's anything like Victoria's gone in the last 18 months, and it will be, it's going to change week by week. So even the professionals that you're consulting with potentially, they don't know what the future holds. So it's funny, one of the things that I've always liked to do in setting up a business and helping people with their routines, as in helping the contractors that might work for me, helping them design their routines. So I would literally know when they could teach classes, for example, is that we would make up their ideal diary, working around university or other, other commitments that they had, for example. And I think that that's so applicable now that we really get to create what's the future, what's, what's the October what does the November look like that you would like it to look like? And understand that you might have to make some decisions. You might have to make some hard choices. You can delay as many of those choices and decisions as you like. You really can. Um, but at the end of the day, the buck stops with you. It stops with all of us. It stops with a decision internally that we, we would like to make. Understand that you are going to piss people off to no end, no matter what decision you make. This is the time right now where you are not going to be able to keep everybody happy. You never have been able to <laughs> if you work for yourself, but if you do work for yourself and you've got hundreds of people that are your clients and customers, I do understand there's a very large responsibility of customer service and, eth and ethics that are there that you probably hold yourself quite close to, hold yourself quite accountable to as well, but it, please, get that it doesn't matter which choice you make. They're all wrong and at the same time, they're all correct. They're all the right way. Just do what you trust is the right thing because it is the only thing that is going to potentially stand up in a court of law if this whole thing in 12 months gets to that. <sighs> because all you've got really is your own morals you had to go to your page and they're censoring you. Hmm, interesting. Wouldn't let me click on your live. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm slightly censored. Only slightly censored. I don't know why. Like, I say plenty of swear words. Interesting. How flattering. But you know what? I'll, I'll keep posting while I um, keep posting. I'm so over being angry about this whole thing. That's all I can say. And I realise, actually very much so that my whole life, slightly off topic, my whole life, it feels like, has been built for this. I've never watched the news. I hate staying up to date with current affairs and media, etc., cetera, et cetera, because to me, it's like the gossip of the world, and I'm never, I've never been interested in gossip at all, and I've always been in my own bubble. My mother used to say to me, she still does, my goodness, there would be a war going on and you wouldn't even know if it was happening. You wouldn't know what was happening in the world. And you know what? Right now, the best, the healthiest, most stress-free living that you can do for yourself is to not watch the news because it's not telling you anything that you don't know. I already know that restrictions have been reimposed into the area where I live and it's not because I watch the news. It's because two separate people two separate people, two separate people to myself, they weren't the same as me, two people told me today um, that I accidentally 
had encounters with on the phone, for example. And oh, my arm's getting stiff. So I just want you to know that no matter who you consult, no matter what lawyer, what doctor, or what accountant, at the end of the day, the buck lies with you. And each week, everything, each week the conditions are going to change. And each week, ask your local solicitor, ask your local contract solicitor if you're in Victoria or I've got a good one, I'll let you know his details. But even he will say, even he is renowned for saying to me, he used to say in South African accent, Kate, there are any anybody that is working with you, for you or etc. just get the verbal agreement, get it written down in an email because anything that you agree to with an individual is that people are individuals and they will do whatever they want. So unless you're prepared to take them through a court of law, then there's no point in making a contract. But this is, this is, I just can't say it enough. This is the point. This is the pinnacle. Actually, do you know what? Probably for the next six months, apparently it's going to get quite hard. Bring it on. <sighs> Deep breaths, Victoria, Sydney, Australia. We've got this, we really do got this, so to speak. We have a lot of work to do. Um, and funny enough, I think a lot of that work is to stay in your own bubble and decide what you would like. And if you're a coach, like for example, people that I've been in conversations with, lead your own people and lead from here. Like you know what the right thing is to do in you, within your heart. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the same beliefs and things that I have it doesn't mean that at all that's not what I mean what I mean is you know what the right thing is to do so do do the right thing by yourself and by your ethics because just think could you sleep at night if you did that thing regardless of whether it's a government thing or not regardless it's time to make our own rules it always has been but right now even more than ever Love you. Message me if you need a hand because watch my last video too about making friends because now there's never been an easier, better or faster time than ever to meet like-minded people that believe, think and feel the same way as you. Talk soon. <laughs>